again, welcome. And with that, I'll pass uh, the floor to uh, Dean Breiber. Thank you, Yancey. Uh, so I'm Rob Breiber. I'm the interim dean of the A. James Clark School of Engineering. And I uh, want to give some welcome remarks to the kicking off the afternoon session of the Maryland Robotics Center Research Symposium. This is a, a, what looks to be a great event. I hope to see it on a regular basis in future years. Uh, I was actually sorry I couldn't join uh, the symposium this morning. I actually had an off-campus meeting, um, but I'm sure there were great presentations from the morning's keynote speaker, Professor Ernestson, as well as from faculty and students on soft robotics, multi-agent uh, robotic interactions and other topics. Um, uh, I should say that my background is actually material science and engineering. So I'm fascinated by um, all the work in autonomy, multi-agent systems, robotics, uh, 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 human in the loop in robotic systems, robotic human interactions, uh, and, and other topics. And it's really great to see a lot of these things covered in this symposium. Um, I fear I may repeat some of the things you heard previously from uh, the opening remarks um, uh, this morning, but um, I'm uh, really excited to see uh, uh, the over 40 faculty and the students uh, from the Maryland Robotics Center getting together. Uh, and uh, we're really excited with new lab space on campus uh, in both the Areeb Center for Computer Science and Engineering for Robotics Work and uh, the EA Fernandez Idea Factory. Um, uh, Idea Factory, the idea part is actually an acronym for Innovate Design Engineer for America. Uh, and uh, actually when I'm, I'm in my office here on campus right now, when I look out the window, I can see the Idea Factory under construction. Uh, the third floor of which is dedicated to robotics and will provide uh, researchers and students with new opportunities to collaborate and advance the field of robotics. Uh, and we're looking forward to that uh, reaching substantial completion um, in the, uh, late October, early November of this fall. Um, in addition, we actually have another uh, new building under construction at, at the University of Maryland uh, uh, system, uh, Southern Maryland campus, which is right next door to our unmanned aircraft test site. And you'll, you'll actually hear from Matt Scassero later this afternoon, who's director of the uh, test site in Southern Maryland. Um, in this new facility in Southern Maryland is the uh, Maryland Autonomous Technologies Research and Innovation Exploration Lab, uh, which I had an opportunity to tour a couple of weeks ago. It has a really exciting two-story high eBay, uh, high bay EM shielded lab with, uh, it's gonna have dual uh, level Vicon motion capture systems and a, and a water land transition uh, feature in the middle of the lab. Uh, and so it promises to be a, a really exciting new facility uh, for collaboration uh, with uh, people in Maryland and connecting with the uh, Navy base down at Pax River uh, and, uh, and other opportunities in, in Southern Maryland. Um, so in closing, I wanna welcome everybody back uh, to the afternoon session and an exciting presentation later on by Dr. Dieter Fox as a keynote speaker and uh, a lot of other interesting uh, talks and posters to come. So thank you very much. And I'll let you get on with the symposium. Thank you so much, Steve Breiber. Um, and so 